With the recent winter storms and the thousands of people that lost power, it's become very clear to us there's a lot of confusion and misunderstanding about electrical generators and the different options we have. I'd like to introduce you to our electrical manager, Jonathan Fritz here, and he's gonna tell you a little bit about portable generators. Portable generators are great for homes, as far as in the royal areas, uh, as smaller homes, cabins, RVs. Are they not ideal for powering a whole house? No, they are not. They are undersized. They will not run your entire house. They will run partial parts of your home. Now, these portable generators, if I understand it correctly, I've got to run outside and manually start it? Correct. I've got to add fuel as needed? You've got to add fuel, you've got to plug it in, you've got to monitor this system every about two to three hours. Let's say a customer wants to power their whole house, or maybe even their small business. What no. would they use then? In that case, what we would recommend is a standby whole business or home generator. How do they power these standby generators? What's their fuel source? Fuel source is usually natural gas or propane. So these can be used in places where you don't have that natural gas service? Correct. And for us in the homes we see, what's the most common size we're putting in and what is that investment? Common size that we see in most homes is roughly about a 22 kW generator um, and the install price is about 92 to 9500 to install. Well, we mentioned earlier that these run automatically. Can you explain that a little bit? I mean, how does that happen? Uh, the way it works is everything is controlled from this load shed panel right here. Okay. Uh, it's a big transfer switch. It, basically, it's got sensing wires that control up to your meter base. It tells you when the power comes off and on from the utility company. And it makes that decision, if not, to turn the generator on or leave it off. That sounds really complicated. Is this the type of project we should be doing ourselves? No, sir. You need a licensed professional to do this. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I think that's enough talk. What do you say we wheel some of these out and show them to you? That sounds great. Josh, what we have here today is the Evolution Series 22KW Generac Generator Standby. Okay. This is the typical brand and model that we put in in most homes. Okay. What runs this thing? What runs this is a two-cylinder, 1.9-liter uh, natural gas or liquid propane motor. The big black deal down here, that's your stator. That's what produces the electricity to your home. Okay. Well, what about this right here? This is your control board. This is the Evolution Series control system. This is the heart and soul of your generator as far as programming, setting up exercise modes, and small diagnosis. I see a lot of stickers over there with looks like shock warnings on it. Uh, is this something I could hurt myself doing? Yes, sir. This is definitely something that if you don't know what you're doing, you can do harm to yourself, the generator, and your home. Definitely don't need to be working on these ourselves. Um, what is this over here? This over here is your drain line for your oil. Um, this is something we recommend every 100 hours or once a year to change the oil. This is where you get the oil out, and this is where you refill it. Okay, great. Well, let's show them this portable generator. What we're looking at, Josh, is a 17.5 kilowatt Generac generator. Uh, gasoline ran, 15 gallon tank. It'll do partial home powering because we're in the construction field. Um, we use it for off-site power tools, stuff like that. That's so why we carry it. We don't carry it to, to power your home. A homeowner could use this to power small lighting applications. Worst case scenario, lose power to your home. This can run some lighting throughout your home. Um, we don't recommend it to run your refrigerators or any large appliances. And why is that? Uh, the reason we don't like to use them is because of power fluctuation. So when you're saying power fluctuation, that actually is something that could damage your appliances. Yes, it could definitely do harm to the boards and fry your whole system. If you think you're interested in getting a standby generator installed for your home or business, or perhaps you have one already and it's not working as intended, we would very much like to have a conversation with you. Give us a call today, 405-341-3941. And while you're at it, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can automatically receive updates as we release additional video content.